Have you ever wondered what storms on a distant planet might look like? Neptune, the eighth planet from the Sun, hosts some of the most extreme weather in our solar system. With winds reaching speeds of over 2,000 km per hour, Neptune's atmosphere is a fascinating subject for both scientists and space enthusiasts. In this video, we'll delve into the secrets behind Neptune's furious winds, explore prevailing theories, and shed light on current technological research data. Neptune's atmosphere is a violent storm of colors and winds. Unlike anything on Earth, these winds whip around the planet at speeds that are almost incomprehensible to us. But what causes these intense weather patterns? Several theories have been proposed regarding the winds of Neptune, but we will only cover the leading theories here. Thermal Convection Theory At the heart of the thermal convection theory is the idea that Neptune's internal heat is the primary driver of its atmospheric dynamics. Unlike Earth, where the Sun significantly influences weather patterns, Neptune's distance from the Sun means its own cause heat plays a more significant role in atmospheric activity. Scientists believe that as heat rises from Neptune's core, it generates massive convection currents within the atmosphere. These currents, moving heat from the lower atmosphere to the upper layers, could be responsible for the planet's extreme wind speeds. What's fascinating about this theory is the evidence supporting it. Infrared images from telescopes like the Very Large Telescope, VLT, and the Keck Observatory have shown Neptune to be surprisingly warm given its distance from the Sun, suggesting that internal heat is indeed significant. Additionally, computer models simulating Neptune's atmospheric conditions have shown that thermal convection could feasibly generate the observed wind speeds, lending further credence to this theory. Differential Rotation Theory The differential rotation theory proposes that the varying rotation speeds at different latitudes on Neptune could contribute to its intense winds. Neptune, like other gas giants, does not rotate as a solid body. Instead, its equatorial regions rotate at a different rate than the poles. This difference in rotation speeds could generate shear forces, which in turn might lead to the formation of the planet's high-velocity winds. Evidence for differential rotation comes from the tracking of cloud movements in Neptune's atmosphere. Observations from the Hubble Space Telescope and Voyager 2 have shown that clouds at different latitudes move at different speeds, indicative of differential rotation. Furthermore, this theory is supported by atmospheric dynamics observed on other gas giants, such as Jupiter and Saturn, where differential rotation plays a crucial role in shaping weather patterns. Solar Influence The solar influence theory explores how the Sun, despite its vast distance from Neptune, could still affect the planet's atmospheric dynamics. It suggested that solar radiation, even at reduced levels, could interact with Neptune's atmosphere, influencing its temperature and pressure gradients. These changes, though subtle, could have significant impacts on wind patterns and speeds. One aspect of solar influence is the variation in solar activity, such as solar flares and coronal mass ejections, which can send streams of charged particles through the solar system. When these particles interact with Neptune's magnetic field, they could induce changes in the atmosphere that influence wind patterns. While direct evidence of solar influence on Neptune's winds is more challenging to obtain, the theory remains a compelling area of research, offering insights into how even distant solar system bodies are interconnected. Magnetic Field Interactions Neptune's magnetic field is both strong and oddly oriented, with a significant tilt from the planet's rotation axis and an offset from the center. The magnetic field interactions theory posits that this unique magnetic field could play a role in shaping atmospheric phenomena, including winds. As charged particles from the Sun interact with Neptune's magnetic field, they could induce electrical currents in the atmosphere. These currents, in turn, might influence the movement of atmospheric gases, contributing to the formation of high-speed winds. Support for the magnetic field interactions theory comes from comparisons with Earth's auroras, where charged particles interacting with the magnetic field create spectacular light shows and influence atmospheric conditions. While directly observing such interactions on Neptune is challenging, the theory adds an intriguing dimension to our understanding of planetary atmospheres and the dynamics. In our quest to understand Neptune's ferocious winds, several missions and observations have been pivotal. Let's explore the rich data provided by current technological marvels, from space telescopes to ground-based observatories, and how they contribute to our growing understanding of Neptune's atmospheric dynamics. Voyager 2 Findings 
In 1989, Voyager 2 gave humanity its first close-up view of Neptune, revealing a world of extreme weather and dynamic activity. Voyager 2's flyby provided critical data, including the discovery of the Great Dark Spot, a massive storm comparable to Jupiter's Great Red Spot. Measurements of cloud speeds during this mission first alerted scientists to the astonishing wind speeds on Neptune, with some reaching up to 2,100 km per hour. Voyager 2's observations remain a cornerstone in Neptune atmospheric studies, offering a baseline for understanding how the planet's weather systems evolve over time. Hubble Space Telescope Insights The Hubble Space Telescope has been instrumental in continuing the observation of Neptune post-Voyager 2. Its high-resolution images and spectra have allowed scientists to monitor weather patterns, seasonal changes, and the dynamics of storms on Neptune over decades. Hubble's observations have shown that Neptune's atmosphere is highly dynamic, with storms appearing and disappearing and wind speeds varying significantly across different latitudes. These long-term observations are crucial for understanding the atmospheric processes driving Neptune's extreme weather. Ground-based observations. Advancements in ground-based telescopic technology, such as adaptive optics, have dramatically improved our ability to study Neptune from Earth. Observatories like the Very Large Telescope, VLT, and the Keck Observatory have provided detailed images and spectra that rival the clarity of space-based telescopes. These observations have contributed to our knowledge of Neptune's atmospheric composition, temperature gradients, and wind speeds. Notably, ground-based telescopes have been able to track the movements of individual cloud features, helping scientists deduce wind patterns and atmospheric dynamics. Recent Satellite Missions While there have been no missions to Neptune since Voyager 2, recent and upcoming satellite missions to other parts of the solar system have indirect implications for studying Neptune. For example, the James Webb Space Telescope, JWST, launched in December 2021, has the potential to observe Neptune in unprecedented detail. Its sophisticated instruments can provide new insights into Neptune's atmospheric chemistry, temperature profiles, and possibly even its interior structure. Although primarily designed for exploring the distant universe, JWST's observations could significantly enhance our understanding of Neptune's winds and atmospheric phenomena. Looking ahead, the integration of data from these diverse sources has painted a more comprehensive picture of Neptune's atmospheric dynamics than ever before. As technology advances, future missions specifically designed to explore Neptune and its mysterious winds could unravel the secrets of its atmosphere. The combination of space-based and ground-based observations, along with advances in computational modeling, promises to propel our understanding of Neptune's wrath to new heights. Understanding the complex atmospheric dynamics of Neptune, a distant and enigmatic world, is fraught with challenges. These obstacles span technological, logistical, and scientific domains, each contributing to the difficulty of unraveling the secrets of Neptune's furious winds. Distance from Earth One of the primary challenges in studying Neptune is its sheer distance from Earth. Located about 4.5 billion kilometers, 2.8 billion miles, away, Neptune is the farthest planet in our solar system since Pluto's reclassification as a dwarf planet. This vast distance makes direct observations and measurements exceedingly difficult and limits our ability to send spacecraft for close-up studies. The significant time delay in receiving data from spacecraft, along with the high costs associated with such missions, further complicates direct exploration. Technological Limitations even with the advent of advanced telescopic technologies and space missions, there remain significant technological limitations in studying distant planets like Neptune. The resolution of images and data that can be obtained from both ground-based and space-based telescopes is often not sufficient to observe fine details of Neptune's atmospheric processes. Additionally, the ability to analyze atmospheric composition, wind speeds, and temperature gradients at different atmospheric layers is limited by current instrument capabilities. These technological challenges restrict our understanding of the intricate dynamics driving Neptune's weather patterns. Atmospheric complexity. Neptune's atmosphere is incredibly complex, with a dynamic interplay of gases, ice, and possibly even diamond rain. This complexity presents a significant challenge for researchers trying to model and understand the planet's meteorological phenomena. The interaction between Neptune's internal heat, its magnetic field, solar radiation, and the planetary rotation creates a highly turbulent and variable atmosphere. Developing accurate models that can account for all these factors is a daunting task, 
requiring vast computational resources and a deep understanding of planetary science. Lack of direct measurements. Another significant challenge is the scarcity of direct measurements of Neptune's atmospheric properties. Since the Voyager 2 flyby in 1989, there have been no missions specifically designed to study Neptune up close. This lack of direct data means scientists must rely on remote observations and theoretical models to infer the planet's atmospheric conditions. The absence of in-situ measurements hampers the ability to verify these models accurately, leaving many questions about Neptune's winds and weather patterns unanswered. Despite the formidable obstacles in studying Neptune's atmosphere, the scientific community's relentless pursuit of knowledge continues to pave the way for breakthroughs in our understanding of the planet's fierce winds. Here's how researchers are striving to overcome the challenges of distance, technological limitations, atmospheric complexity, and the lack of direct measurements. Advancements in telescope technology. The continuous improvement of telescope technology, especially with adaptive optics and interferometry, has dramatically enhanced the quality of images and data we can obtain from distant planets like Neptune. Instruments on the Very Large Telescope VLT, the Keck Observatory, and the forthcoming Extremely Large Telescope ELT, promise even higher resolution observations. These advancements allow for more detailed studies of Neptune's atmospheric dynamics and weather patterns, providing insights into the mechanisms driving its violent winds. Innovative Space Missions while there are currently no missions en route to Neptune, several proposals could bring revolutionary insights if realized. Missions like the proposed Neptune Odyssey by NASA aim to study the planet's atmosphere, rings, and moons in unprecedented detail. By deploying orbiters, atmospheric probes, or even drones, future missions could directly measure atmospheric conditions, offering a wealth of data far beyond what remote observations can achieve. Computational Modeling and Simulation With the advent of powerful supercomputers, Scientists can simulate Neptune's atmospheric conditions with increasing accuracy. These models incorporate complex variables, including thermal convection, differential rotation, and magnetic field interactions, to predict weather patterns and wind speeds. As computational techniques evolve and more observational data become available, these models will become even more refined, offering deeper insights into Neptune's atmospheric mysteries. Collaborative International Efforts Understanding Neptune's winds is a global scientific endeavor, requiring collaboration across countries and disciplines. By sharing data, resources, and expertise, the international community can enhance its collective understanding of Neptune. Collaborative projects, such as the combined use of different telescopes and the sharing of simulation techniques, amplify the impact of individual efforts, leading to more comprehensive and nuanced insights into Neptune's atmosphere. Public and private sector partnerships Partnerships between government space agencies and private sector entities are becoming increasingly important in space exploration. These collaborations can accelerate the development of new technologies and missions to study distant planets like Neptune. By leveraging the strengths of both sectors, the pace of discovery can be quickened, potentially leading to more frequent and focused missions to Neptune in the future. As we face the challenges of exploring Neptune's vast and dynamic atmosphere, our resolve to understand this distant world only grows stronger. With each technological advance and collaborative effort, we peel back another layer of the mystery surrounding Neptune's winds. The journey of discovery is long and filled with challenges, but the potential rewards, unlocking the secrets of one of the solar system's most enigmatic planets, are too compelling to ignore. As we continue to push the boundaries of our knowledge and technology, the day will come when Neptune's wrath is not just observed from afar but understood in all its complex glory. If you enjoy this type of content, please consider subscribing and sharing with other space enthusiasts. With your support we can make more of these space-oriented videos available for your knowledge and entertainment. You now have something that you can talk about at your next social gathering. Keep looking up and remember that Bob's intriguing facts is looking with you.